Adventure is out there and today I'm at Universal in Orlando visiting Islands of Adventure and probably heading over to studios after. But my main goal today is going to be to catch some of the Grinch and Christmas different items that they have here and different experiences that they offer for the holidays. And once again, I have no agenda, so we may be doing other things as well while we're here, but follow along as I explore Islands of Adventure and Universal Studios today. Today as we're walking into Islands of Adventure, there's a part of entry Christmas shop. So we'll check it out and see what they've got in here today. Alright, we got a lot more Earl the Squirrel type items and we saw some of that yesterday. We are looking around studios. Oh, this one's kind of fun. They've gifted ends. Okay. It's cute. Throw the squirrel long sleeve. A lot of Grinch merchandise. I like this backpack. It's fun. An adult size onesie over there. They also have a naughty and nice list that's kind of tucked away right when you walk in. And this was on display last year in the tribute store. Unfortunately, Jesse and I are both on the naughty list. Not good, not good. Alright, so I just walked straight into Islands of Adventure. Off in the distance over there, we've got... Velocicoaster running, we've got Hogwarts in the background, Mythos over there to the right. I'll probably be heading there later, but my first stop is going to be over here to the right, going into Seuss Landing. Alright, so we made it over to Seuss Landing. Right now they've got some Grinchmas decorations as you walk into the section of the park. As you're walking through the areas, you can see all the garlands and Christmas trees and all the decorations that they have out right now for the holidays. This area at nighttime is going to be beautiful. Alright, so we've made it over to the Grinchmas Holiday Spectacular area. So I'm going to go check out that show right now. They've got a show starting in about 25 minutes. So I'm going to go check that out. I'm super pumped for the Grinchmas Holiday Spectacular. I saw this last year and it was a really good show. I'll see if the anything's different this year or, or not. If it's if it's honestly the same as it was last year, I know I'm in for a great show. The Arbor Day was fine, and Easter was pleasant, and every St. Fizzard's Day they ate a Fizz Pheasant. But every who knew from their twelve toes to their snout, they loved Christmas the most without a single who doubt. Ask any who. And they'll have this to say. There's no place like Whoville around Christmas. some way to keep Christmas from coming! But how?
first house in the square. This is stop number one. The old Frenchie calls hiss, and he climbed to the roof. Empty bags in his fist. The roof. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> The kid from Blue Screws and Reeves. <laughs> I'll try. Uh, I can't. <laughs> Watch next. Then he slid down the chimney a rather tight pinch. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> no. Skip ahead. <laughs> But if Santa Claus can do it, then so could the Grinch. Ooh! Ooh! If Santa can do it, so could the Grinch. Can Santa do this? <laughs> then he slithered and slumped with a smile most unpleasant. Now that I can do, <laughs> I will stuff up the tree. So he grabbed a tree and he started to shove when he heard the small sound like the coo of a dove. He turned around fast and saw the small who, little Cindy Lou who. Santa Bridge was so smart and so slick, he thought of a lie, and he thought it up quick. Ho, 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 why my sweet little tot? The fake Santa Claus lied. You're not helping. <laughs> There's a light on this tree. <laughs> that won't light on one side. So I'm taking it home, home, home to my workshop, my dear. I'll fix it up there, then bring it back here. I'm priming again. <laughs> The Grinch? Yes, I know he hates Christmas. They're just waking up. I know just what they'll do. Their mouths will hang open for a minute or two, and then all the hooves down in Whoville will all cry. Oh, ho, oh, oh, ho, oh, 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 ho, 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 ho
I just left the Grinchmas Holiday Spectacular and this show was wonderful. If you're a Grinch fan and you're coming to Universal Islands of Adventure, I highly recommend taking some time to go see the show. It's really fun. They sing a lot of the classic songs. The acting and dancing is really fun and it's really great. If you have kids who are interested, a lot of the kids in the audience were really happy and they were laughing and they seemed to be having a good time as well. So I would definitely recommend this one. Another place to stop is Green Eggs and Ham. Now this is a classic Dr. Seuss type item and they sell green eggs and ham here but they also sell hash. Which item would you try? Leave me a comment and let me know. Now I'm not going to get the hoo hash today but I did get it here last year to celebrate you know the holidays with you know the Grinch stealing the last can of hoo hash so I'll put a picture of right here so you can see. Um, I liked it. I enjoyed it when I had it last year. I would recommend it if you're interested. Happy holidays! <laughs> So it looks like all the time slots today to meet the Grinch are out, so I'm not going to be able to meet him, but that's okay. Um, just to give you an idea of where to find the spot where we're supposed to meet the Grinch. He does his meeting which is at the far end of the Seuss landing area. Universal also has a Grinch popcorn that gets available for $28. And the first refill is free. It says here, I'm not sure how much a refill costs. Stopping at Breadbox. We both, Jesse and I, Jesse's with me now. Hi, Jesse. Uh, we both got the BLTAs bacon, lettuce, tomato, and avocado. Oh, they're really good. So we just ate at Breadbox. We got the BLTAs. They made a mistake on our sandwiches and we had horse radders on there instead of the balsamic. Uh, you know, that they should have. So we had it replaced, but kind of got a hard time about it, honestly. Kind of disappointed in this place. I don't know if we'll come back. Maybe we will, maybe we won't, but. Yeah. More service makes a difference. It does, it really does. Jesse and I are sitting at the Duff beer stand right now, and we're sitting over by the, the lagoon side. It's a great spot to grab and bust yourself a beer. We grabbed the Dufftoberfest, that's the seasonal they have right now. It's kind of funny they still have that in December, but I'm happy they do. We've had this beer before and it's a really, it's a really nice beer that they sell here. This is a nice spot to come sit down, take a little break. It looks really pretty, especially as it gets later in the evening because of all the lights will be on. It's starting to get darker now, we just finished our beers. And as you look across the, the water here, it does really look beautiful in the evening. Really a nice spot to sit, in my opinion. The parade started as we were on our way back to Islands of Adventure. Today, it wasn't as windy, so we were able to see the floats. The Nutcracker float is my favorite. If you haven't seen my video from yesterday, make sure you check it out to see more of the parade footage. Also, if you are enjoying this video, please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons.
order the holiday punch. Oh wow, it's really sour. You got like a sour apple like a Granny Smith. Sour apple? A little sugar on the outside. Nice though. Oh, yeah. It's a really nice presentation too. Super sour though. Super sour, so. Yeah. So if you're a person who doesn't like sour, you can skip it or. Okay. I like sour, so. Yeah, I was gonna say it's right up your alley. I got the Grinch ice cream sandwich cookie. So it has the Grinch cookie on both sides and then like a huge, like one inch thick slab <laughs> of ice cream. Maybe a little more, yeah. Maybe a one and a half, it's huge, but we'll see. It's really good. Standard vanilla ice cream, but I like the hard pack ice cream. I've always, I always prefer a hard pack ice cream over a swirl ice cream. And the cookie is soft, has a nice flavor to it. I thought it was gonna be hard to bite into, but it was nice and soft. So I think it's a good ice cream sandwich. If you like ice cream sandwiches, I would try this one. Definitely festive. If you've enjoyed watching this video, please consider hitting the like and subscribe buttons. I hope you join me on my next journey, but until then, keep exploring!